I guess I'll just go ahead and delve into what I got from e.l.f. Just real quick. Um, I, I received one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine things and then I got a free you know they always do like the free hundred sets for ordering between three and five like, they just do these rando giveaways I just think it's ridiculous that they already charge like a dollar for everything but they're giving away like sets of a hundred things um, so I got nine products that I bought and then I received a free eyeshadow palette and like literally nine million brushes that I will never use ever but I have them so I mean that's good if I ever get in a situation where I need to barter 400 makeup brushes I I'm good to go um so yeah I paid 37 dollars which I mean hey cool awesome I don't oh hello do you want to get up here oh <gasps> This little guy woke up this morning and peed and pooped and didn't wake me up. And it was not a good situation. Why are you crying? Weirdo. Let me, let me be for like five minutes. All right. So the first thing I got was this. It's called the 32 piece eyeshadow palette. I don't know if it, it came in three different colors. I've seen people use this before, but the ones that I've seen being used weren't on the website when I ordered it. I don't think it has. Oh, it just says bright. So I'm wearing three colors right now. You can't really, you can't really tell, but um, I like it. I'm not thrilled with the color. I think I should have ordered another one. I'm dumb and wasn't thinking properly, but this is what they look like. Ooh. I wear a lot of purples and greens. I have hazel eyes and I think that's what you're supposed to wear. Just as a warning, I, I don't know makeup. I, I don't. I know nothing about makeup. I literally just started wearing eyeliner like six months ago and I rarely even wear it. I wear Bare Minerals foundation, some blush, and some mascara every day and that's it. I rarely put on anything else unless I'm going out to a bar or something or like have a date night. I decided to order this to venture outside of the box and it really only has one purple color. It's like a periwinkle. It kind of reminds me of my grandparents couch because everybody that's going to watch this knows that color but I'm going to have to venture outside of my comfort zone to um, test these out but they're I mean they're really pigmented. They're I'm trying to think of what colors I want to do. I might do, I like this like green sage color. This coral color is really pretty for like the springtime. This isn't showing up very good on my camera. It's really pretty like mint green color and like a smoky gray. And there's like a million different browns, which is good. I wear browns all the time. I just didn't see to do like gold glittery. Like I said in my last video, I'm 12 years old and I'm really cool. Um, yeah, I used like two browns in that periwinkle shade. You can't really tell though, so you're just going to have to believe me. Um, the thing I got for free, I didn't even open it yet, but it's another eyeshadow palette. It's the Geo 32 is what it's called. It looks neat. Um, I heard these are really pigmented too, so I'm pretty excited to try that out and I don't think you got a choice of like what colors but it's like a really cool sky blue and again a bunch of browns and grays and white and tans and whites and tans and grays oh my um I also got two nail polishes I have a bunch of elf nail polishes actually I get those like packs of 10 from Target for like oh no this is my work computer get off get off get off oh hello I order those like packs of 10 for like $5, so I get them all the time. But um, I got this really pretty gray color. I love gray. I'm boring. I'm 12 and I'm boring. It's in the color Meadow Mist. So that's that. And then this one I actually just put on because I wanted to see what it would look like. It's called Sea Escape. So you can't really tell, but it's 
oh, that looks really blue. It's not that blue in real life. Um, I have it on my fingers right now. So it's like this really deep navy color and it's got like the little tiniest glitter in it and it's really pretty. I think it'd be really pretty for like a New Year's outfit. So, thing I got, I, the only primer I've ever used is Bare Minerals Prime Time and honestly it's because it came in like the, the package you get when you buy your foundation and your like the warmth thing and the brush like the beginner's kit and i've purchased a few of those actually just because i think it's a really good deal it's the only primer i've ever used and i've heard this stuff is really good actually and i bought two for some reason i think i did it on accident so i've already opened one but this is the mineral infused face primer and i like it it reminds me a lot of the prime time um i don't know if i would like this if i had oily skin but i have really 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 dry skin so i don't mind it and it's just like a clear gel formula the clear kind of threw me off because i'm used to it not being clear yeah. these are my roommate actually just walked into my room and she was like oh you did a little shopping and i said yeah and she goes oh my god you got so many brushes how much did they cost for free they were all for free i got all of these brushes for free with that geo kit i got a Eyelash and brow wand, an eyeshadow brush, a blending eye brush, a total face brush, a defining eye brush, a bronzing brush, a lip defining brush, concealer, foundation, brow comb and brush, eyeliner blush, brush, and smudge eye sponge. Again, I know nothing about makeup and I use like three brushes and I'm excited to try some of these. There's no way I'm going to try all of these. I I didn't even know they made 400 brushes for your eyes, but I'm dumb, so yeah. Um, I mean, I'm excited. The, I used one actually to apply my eyeshadow, and I liked it. Um, I think the small ones with, this is going to sound really weird, but the small ones with the white handles are really good, but I don't think the big ones. I'd say, I don't think I'm going to like the like face brush because I bought this one on my own. It was two or three dollars it's just like the stipple brush and I put my foundation on with this morning it's just not very full like it's I much rather perform my bare minerals um, brushes that I use every day I mean it's not terrible but I have been using the magic nude L'Oreal I think uh, foundation and I think it's just better applied with your fingers so maybe that was the issue but I don't know it's just I'm just kind of right about this. The thing I got was, again, I've already purchased this before. This was a repurchase. The contouring blush and bronzing powder, three bucks. You can't go wrong. This thing is awesome. I've seen so many people use this. It's just good stuff. And it comes with a little mirror, which is always nice to have. Um, the next thing I have, <laughs> this is in that package of like 4,000 brushes I got it, so I don't know why I got it. I think it's because it's crystally. Do you see it? Woo! It's just another another eye brush because now I have 4,000. I mean, I could literally be a monster with 4,000 eyes and not even use all these. The last thing I got, I think this is the last thing. Is this the last thing? Yes. Was that lipstick. Again, I just, I just don't think I'm a lipstick person. Virginians, we just don't like lipstick. <laughs> I will swatch this. I mean, it's a nice color. I just didn't like it. It's actually like sort of. I'm wearing, I'm currently wearing the Moxie lip gloss from Lo and Behold, what a surprise, Bare Minerals. Um, it came in one of those like intro packages. Again, I am 12 and I don't know how to do makeup. I wear it all the time. I literally just wear it in the winter, but I just think it's really nice. And yeah, so that's it for that. Um, I made a list today of all the videos that I want to make. Um, and again, I'm going to Virginia tomorrow, so I'll be gone for the weekend. But when I get back on Monday, I have to make food for our company, like Thanksgiving whatever for Tuesday so I'm gonna make 
uh, southern style deviled eggs. So I want to do a recipe slash cook with me kind of thing uh, that I'll post on Monday night. And then on Monday or Tuesday, I need to go to the grocery store. So I really want to go to the farmer's market. We have um, Atlanta has a great farmer's market. It was actually featured on Anthony Bourdain's uh, no reservations. I think that's what it's called. I think he had like a layover here and decided to go, but it's three miles away from my apartment and I go all the time. Um, I haven't even been into a normal Kroger or Publix since I moved here because it's just amazing and it's overwhelming and it's just great. So I want to do that. I just want to go to like go to the farmer's market with me. So I want to do that. The recipe thing. Um, there's an art project that I want to do for over my bed that's going to be very inexpensive and really easy to do that I want to do. Um, and then there are a few tags that I watched today that looked cool. So yeah, I am going to get in my jams and wait for my boyfriend to bring me my Chick-fil-A. So hope everyone has a good weekend. I might do a really bored in the car by myself vlog tomorrow so I don't kill myself seven hours <sighs> that's all again happy Friday everyone have a good weekend bye